gets out of breath He flies back and forth to south and north Not seeing the doors Oh, you caught me reading this magazine Cool This is Kyiv Check-In This is the magazine that will tell you what's happening in Kyiv, Ukraine this, this week and this month Actually, just like my video that I'm ready to introduce to you we are going to tell you all the basics, what you need to know when you arrive to Kiev, what to do, how to stay safe uh, in the first 24 hours of your arrival. During this video, we're going to talk about a Hockey World Championship and we're going to tell you more about Eurovision Song Contest 2017. So stay tuned and don't go away because there will be some funny things there. Whenever you travel to any foreign country in the world, it's always better that somebody is picking you up at the airport. But what if you don't have anybody to pick you up at the airport? What do you do? Is there life after death? Can I become taller? Can I dance like these Cossacks? How far is Mars from Kiev? How fast can I walk to Kiev from here, from the airport? Is there a chance that my girl will ever like me again? These guys know all the answers. I got pretty much everything I needed from this girl. She was very helpful. But for you to understand, to survive the first 24 hours in a foreign country at the airport of arrival, this is what you need. Transfer, money, and mobile connection. Now, once you're at the airport, there are three ways to get to Kyiv. Option number one is uh, Skybus. You can get to uh, one of the subway stations for about 80 hryvna, which is about four dollars but then you have to take the subway so it's up to you option number two is the taxi uh, pretty much uh, comfortable here the counter right here you can uh, get the taxi and for 400 hryvna which is about 16 dollars uh, get to somewhere uh, downtown kiev or then uh, option number three if you have uber uh, application uh, installed on your phone then you can use that at the moment of recording this video one dollar is 27 hryvna 27 hryvna is one uh, sneakers bar one pack of cigarettes and two bottles of water Whether you came for Hockey World Championship here in April or Eurovision in May, here at the Brisbane Airport, you have everything you need to stay connected. From five to ten dollars, you you pay and you've got all covered and taken care of. Now let's um, learn a couple of words in Ukrainian. Thank you. Dyakuyu. Dyakuyu. All right. Um, goodbye. Do pobachenya. Goodbye. Do pobachenya. I have a blue little bird in my chest. I'm feeling it's out of breath. He flies back and forth to sound. Not seeing the doors. Kyiv is the capital of one of the biggest countries in Europe. Don't be surprised if you see people on the streets that don't speak English. Let's check out how many people will be able to really respond and talk to me in English. All right? Excuse me, do you speak English? No? 
Do you speak English? Excuse me, do you speak English? Do you speak English? Do you speak English? Excuse me, do you speak English? Do you speak English? No? Okay. Excuse me, do you speak English? No? Excuse me, do you speak English? Do you speak English? Do you speak English? No. Do you speak English? No. Okay. Excuse me, do you speak English? No. So, as I have told you before, don't be surprised that you will find a lot of people that cannot understand English and can't give you the advice how to get to the right location. Have it written on paper, show it to people. That's the way for communication. That's the way for communication. Otherwise, you may have a little bit of difficulties communicating with people and uh, going nowhere. Google, Google, how can I get to the International Exhibition Center? Please, please, help me. Now, to get into our subway, basically you need to get the tokens. In 2017, the Kiev Metro has three operating lines. There are 52 stations with three transfer nodes located in a triangle in the historical center of Kiev. At all stations of the Kiev subway, there is a coverage of mobile operators, Vodafone, Kyivstar, LifeCell and you can also use Wi-Fi at the central station. Since December 17, 2016, the sale of tokens has been limited to two in order to familiarize passengers with the use of reusable electronic cards and bank cards. In the course of 2017, it is planned to completely abandon tokens. The International Exhibition Center is located on the left bank. That's the center where the Eurovision Song Contest 2017 is taking place. In order to get there, you need to get on the subway. You need the red line, you get on Krishatik and you get off at Levobirezhna station. Pretty much, once you get on Krishatik, you need four more stations and you're out and you can enjoy the concert. That's what we're talking about. This is Kyiv. Once you get off on the Liverbrezhna station, this is where the Eurovision Song Contest is going to take place. The International Exhibition Center is located right behind me. That's where you need to go. Я би не хотіла падати знова, мова мого тіла може не нова, але розуміла, що вони ти злі, лиш одну себе, а не увесь світ. All right, thanks for uh, finding time to meet because uh, food is one of the, uh, I would say, one of the most 
important thing that Ukraine is known for? Absolutely, I have to agree with you. You are the expert. You tell oh, me. Absolutely, especially Ukrainian food. Ukrainians are known for their food all throughout the world, and they're known to use the staples of the earth. They're, they use uh, beets, they use uh, potatoes very wild, you know, all throughout their cuisine. Yeah. Um, it's all natural, it's all tasty. I mean, our tomatoes and our cucumbers are probably the best in the world, if not the best in the world. Well, it's like this, we can spend hours talking Absolutely. about this, but it's better one time to try rather than talk. Absolutely. So, what I want you to try first is probably one of the most famous uh, dishes in Ukraine, it's called vareniki. Vareniki, that's the dumplings. Absolutely, okay, absolutely. Known as dumplings outside Ukraine, but vareniki in Ukraine. All right, so Ukrainian dumplings, if you want to order uh, them at any of the Ukrainian restaurants, uh, you have to say this, budlaska vareniki, right? Absolutely. Budlaska vareniki. Now, the ones we're going to try now is vareniki with uh, cherries. Cherries, I love that. Absolutely. They come with sour cream and a jam. Okay. Now, there are other varieties. There's vareniki with meat. With meat. Yes. Yes, there's vareniki potato. with potatoes. Yes. yes. And grilled onions in there. True. And there's a potato uh, with cheese. And all of them are phenomenal. All right. Now, all right. Uh, as far as I know that... Uh, Sour cream comes and the uh, cherry jam. Absolutely, right? yes. Comes uh, with it. And you dip it in a sour cream. That's exactly what I'm going to do. Oh, we'll actually, do we can put we'll it a little bit here. Oh, absolutely. Just do it. Okay. Nice. All right, so I'm going to dip it in. That's it. All right. I'm not waiting for anything. All right, so here's oh, one napkin here for you. Mm. Nice. We love this stuff. I used to eat it as a kid. We used to have competition sweets more. It's good even for breakfast. Yeah, absolutely. Pretty much. Absolutely. It's got a really nice, sweet, and sour taste to it. Most important thing in the variety was having the right cherries. Okay. Nice Ukrainian cherries. They're very hard to find anywhere else. Well, uh, thank you very much. I mean, We've got uh, plenty of time right now to finish all this up. And um, tell me about Bosch, because we know that you can't, uh, in Ukraine, you can't go anywhere without Bosch. Like if, you, if you're if you visiting a hospitable family, which we have, oh, all the, the families are hospitable. That's the first thing. And everybody's got the best Bosch. Okay. okay. Borscht is a staple. It's probably the most famous and renowned dish from Ukrainian cuisine. Sure. It's everywhere. True. Okay. People eat borscht in Germany. People eat borscht in Poland. They eat it in in, in America. They can it. They put it in the can. They sell it on the shelf. Oh, poor guys. It's, it's not that good. <laughs> it's basically it looks red. Sure. It somehow reminds you of it. But um, borscht really uh, is Ukrainian. Uh, gateway to cuisine, or Ukrainian cuisine. Uh, there's many kinds. Yeah. Every restaurant has a different one. Every grandma has a different one. True. Uh, it's by the way, it's not always red. That's true. Green. Sometimes it's green. Green. Okay. Yes. Uh, sometimes it's cold. Sometimes it's hot. That's true. But let's get back to the basic. The basic borscht is it's that deep red color. Uh, it comes again with the sour cream. Exactly. Okay. okay. It may come with a meat or without meat. All right. So when you order it, ask how do you? How would you ask for borscht? Uh, uh, budlaska borscht uh, z miasom. That's with meat. Or uh, bez miasom. Perfect. That's it. Perfect. That's all you gotta do. All and right. then you just enjoy. It. Well, we're here at uh, Ludi Casual Food, one of the most legendary places uh, in uh, Ukraine right downtown of Kiev and I have some guests coming right now so I'm gonna interview them and we will eat borscht absolutely uh, we're yeah. gonna eat a lot of good food yeah. and enjoy it thank you very much Sergey thank you very much for coming all right thank you we'll see you again okay I have a blue little bird in my chest I'm feeling it's out of breath Flies back and forth to sun.
So here we are at a wonderful restaurant, Ludi Casual Food, downtown Kiev in the Arena City with some good people. Actually, to me, they're some of the best people that I know in the music world and they participated in the pre-selection of the participants for Eurovision Song Contest from Ukraine. Manakromia, okay? Christina <laughs> and uh, the producer of this band, uh, Maxim, they're right here. We are going to enjoy some food, all right? How are you doing? Great, thank you. All right. <laughs> now, uh, you, didn't, you didn't make it to the final, but you were right there. Like, to me, you were the best. Thank you. And uh, actually, we're going to use your music for this video, and so people will enjoy some of the English language songs and Ukrainian language songs that you have. And we will give you the links. That's where you can find this band, the, their music, and uh, download it to your iTunes. iTunes, Google Play, I think. Okay, you see? So, and now it's time to eat. I have a blue little bird in my chest I'm feeling it's out of breath It flies back and forth to south and north Not seeing the doors My mind is close to be dead And my way is done We'll get what we gave I lay on the ground and count what I found it is the first time that Ukraine is hosting Hockey World Championship. Well, not so long ago we hosted Euro 2012. And it seemed to have been quite a great tournament. So, with all that experience, I can tell you that Ukraine is getting ready to welcome all of you. The participants, the visitors, the guests, anybody, whether or not you've been here in Ukraine. It's 15 powerful games, 7 days of nothing but hockey. There are six teams that are going to fight for victory and only two of them will make it to the top division. I'll tell you this, you are going to have a great time. I can guarantee that Ukraine is getting ready to welcome all of you, to make sure you guys have a great time and great experience. So come and enjoy it. You know, I have enjoyed creating this video for you. This uh, has been one of the most funny days of my life, okay? So, um, I want you to let me know how far this video has been helpful to you and how much you got um, useful information for yourself and for your travel here in Ukraine. Thank you.